Hi, I'm Bethany, and I'll be reading Bitter Bananas by Isaac Olelai and illustrated by Ed Young. Young Yusuf and his family lived a long time ago in an African village in the heart of the rainforest. Yusuf's most favorite drink was palm sap. Oh yes, oh yes. Now Yusuf's palm sap, white as milk, was sweet like apple juice. And what he did not drink, young Yusuf sold at the market to help his family. But somebody was stealing Yusuf's palm sap. Oh no, oh no. One morning before the first cock crowed, Yusuf hid in the darkness of the rainforest. He heard strange sounds in the heart of the rainforest. But he also heard sounds that were not strange. Reep, reep of ch croaking frogs and chirp, chirp of chirping crickets. Gradually, the darkness faded into twilight. Then Yusuf heard another very strange sound. Grumph, 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 grumph. grumph, grumph. The sound was moving toward him. Oh no, oh no. Suddenly, out from the underbrush, they sprang. Papa baboons, mama baboons, and baby baboons. Baboons all bib in my sap, cried Yusuf. Oh no, oh no. Yusuf charged out of the bush like a bull. Leave my palm sap alone, he yelled and the baboons bounded off. Oh yes, oh yes. But days later, the baboons came back. Yusuf said, I will hack down the trees around my palm tree. Then those baboons cannot leap onto my tree. While he was hacking, one limb snapped and sent his gourd of sap crashing downward. Oh no, oh no. Yusuf shook his fist at the palm tree. I will scare those baboons, Yusuf said, and so a scarecrow he made. And the scarecrow scared the baboons away. Oh yes, oh yes! On the next day, streaks of lightning flashed in the ebony sky. Thunder rumbled and roared in the ebony sky, roared like the boom of a drum and a trillion strands of rain pounded on thatched roofs and on browning iron roofs in the village. Trees bowed to the wind, the rainforest wept, the scarecrow wept, the wind twisted the scarecrow and its head flew away in the wind. Oh no, oh no. After the storm, the baboons were scared no more and the sweet sap they drank again Yusuf cried, those baboons will not make a monkey of me. Suddenly, Yusuf had a very clever idea. Oh yes, oh yes. He dressed the big gourd up to look like a little boy with a big tummy and a tiny head with a knitted cap. And, that boop, and the baboons did not drink the sap. But oh no, oh no, said Yusuf for chirping, twittering, fluttering birds like the knitted cap. And soon, the knitted cap was no more. Yusuf moaned, I have no sap to drink. I have no sap to sell. What am I going to do? He began to think and think and think. Oh yes, oh yes, Yusuf yelled. I know, I know what I am going to do three gourds full of palm sap he brought from the village market. Four calabash bowls he got from his mother. A bunch of ripe bananas he picked up from a farm and some tender wormwood leaves he plucked from the forest. In a mortar he pounded oozy, mushy, bitter green juice from the wormwood leaves. Palm sap bubbled like a brook as Yusuf filled four calabash bowls with sap bought from the market. Some green juice he added to the sap. Some green juice he poured into his own big gourd. Six heads were needed to carry everything. Yusuf's head, his father's, his mother's, his sister's, and his two brothers. Up, up he climbed to fasten the big gourd. 
Bananas were split open. Into them he put the green juice. Bowls were placed at the foot of the tree and the job was done. Oh yes, oh yes. The following morning, all the villagers and creatures of the rainforest arose for breakfast. Everyone, everywhere. In mud huts, at rainforest farms, in trees, in holes, in nests, in the air, in streams and rivers and lakes, on leaves, under leaves, and on flowers. Anywhere, everywhere. Papa baboons, mama baboons, and baby baboons too headed for breakfast at the foot of Yusuf's palm tree. Oh yes, oh yes. The baboons chomped on the bananas. If baboons could talk, they would have said, bitter bananas? How are yellow bananas bitter? The baboons had a sip of sap. If baboons could talk, they would have said, bitter sap? How is sweet palm sap bitter? Then away they went as if to say, we don't like bitter breakfast. Oh no, oh no. And they never came back again. Yusuf yelled, wormwood. Baboons do not like green, oozy, bitter wormwood juice in their sap and bananas. And he did a little joyous jumping jingle jig. For Yusuf, the end of the matter was sweet, really sweet. Oh yes, oh yes.